Hello, hello, hello. Greetings, Lee Shelley Yens. Welcome back to another episode of the I Love Lisa Michelle Show. Starring me, your ladybug, Lisa Michelle. Y'all, today, 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 your girl is having her a little seafood boil. And it's a blue crab seafood ball that is. This is again, 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 left over from what we had the other day. And y'all are seeing this way, way, way down the line. And your girl is hungry. Yes, she is. Yeah, I got me some sausage in here, some rice, some steamed rice, and some lemons, cucumbers, and some peppers. And I got me some lemon, lemon sparkling water to drink. That's what your girl got. So let me pray over my food and my drink, and we will get to chowing down, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you, oh God, for this food and the drink that you placed before me. I pray that it would be nutritious to my body and that it would not cause any hurt, harm, or danger to me in any way. Thank you for my Lichelians who are fellowshipping with me or eating with me and watching with me. Thank you, oh God. Bless them in a mighty way. In the holy and mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen, 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 Yes, y'all. The girl thinks she cute. Yo, girl thinks she cute. Child, I'm cute. I told my husband, I said, they're going to think I look clown. It's a top. Actually, it's a dress. Yeah, it's so cute to me. I like it. I like things that are odd. I forgot to put, put my mic on, but it's fine. I'm, yeah, I know I'm loud enough. I bought that for my husband anyway, child. So anyway, how y'all doing today, Lee Shelley? How I can't show y'all. Pick this thing up. Let's see. Ooh, that's Billus Macalicious Licious sauce at the bottom. The spicy sauce that he is. Yep, I'm sweating. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mother, you better eat that stuff or go bad. Look, who got his crispy? And he wasn't there. That's why he up and down. He in the room. He ate some ramen. His favorite dish, ramen noodles, y'all. These are snow crabs. I mean, no, not snow crabs. These are blue crabs. They're crunchy. So I had them in the oven. Y'all know I like to shell sometimes, okay? Check that gumbo. It does. Mm. I got a container. Put that in. It's wet. And it's dropping down here. On my lap. Body part. That's the inside of the body.
Y'all got my earring? Say Black Lives Matter. And they do. All lives, but, and they do. I know all lives matter, but Black Lives Matter. Mm hmm. As well. I always have. Ooh. That's partially. Ooh. Mm. So how y'all been doing? What y'all eating on today? On this blessed day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it, y'all. Y'all, I ordered some games that we've been doing. I saw some, my girl, Lady Bud Charlotte of KC Connection, and uh, my girl, it's Wani, had the little spinning thing. I ordered that from Amazon, I think yesterday or today. Mm, 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 mm. That should be coming soon. So, I don't know when the video coming out. Y'all might be, y'all may have already seen the video when it's playing the game before this video. I don't know. Um, I already got a video of me eating this already with the Alfredo sauce, I think. And I, I don't know if I put that out yet. Well, definitely it'll be out before this one for sure. But y'all, thank you for all the newly shut -ins. For you guys who don't know, my husband and I will reside in Houston, Texas. And y'all, I just got an Amber Alert, what they did. I don't know why man that come through. The Amber Alert saying that they telling us to stay inside. Like we like, just like um, COVID-19 just starting all over again here in Houston. To stay inside. And to not come out unless it's essential and an emergency. And when you come out, have your mask on. Yeah. Y'all heard that? I don't know what that was. Mm -hmm. Mm. But child, I knew it's gonna come. I knew it because it's out too fast. And it, that y'all, this this has been recorded before July, before July Fourth, Fourth July. So I guess they're trying to stop that before the fireworks and all that stuff come, beaches and all that stuff get. Get full, so they letting y'all us know ahead of time. Nah, nah, you ain't finna go no beach. You ain't finna be doing this. You ain't finna be doing that. For real, child. We just had Memorial Day in May. This still in June. Y'all might not see it until July. I'm almost certain y'all won't see it until July. Because today's day is July 27th. Today is Friday, the 27th. Yeah, I'm trying to say the 27th. I'm sorry. Mmm. I got gumbo. Mmm. 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 Got a good old sausage in here. Hot. Oof. Got some parsley on top. But, yeah, child, it's in the Amber Alert off of that. Mm. On that message, saying that. Now, I received an Amber Alert earlier. 
But I don't, I, I think I looked at it, but I don't recall what it said. But that was like way before they said they got sales. My husband got one, my son texted me, he was at work, and he even texted me and told me that. And then my, my husband, he came home, he said he, he saw it too. But my daughter, I was on the phone with my daughter, shout out to my daughter, Treasure, from Living Life with T, my grandbaby, Kelly Poo Poo. But I didn't get it. Well, I don't know if I did or not. And I don't know how to go to find it. I don't, know how to need, I don't know if I need to go to messages or not to find that Amber Alert. I don't know. But anyway, they told me that's fine. I do get Amber Alert though. Normally my normally my husband's phone ring and I was mine ring at the same time. But he wasn't here. But he had just got here. Um my, my daughter told me it came out about the the emergency. So don't go out. Unless it's absolutely necessary. Yes, sir. That's what they say. In Houston, Texas, that's what they say. And I'm quite sure that's going to apply to y'all too, wherever y'all at. Wherever y'all be, it's going to play. It's gonna apply to y'all. For sure. Where my girl Casey at in Florida? Sure. They say they're doing the absolute most down there. But my sister Pooh, she said she ain't going out unless she need to. She ain't going to get her nails done. She ain't going to get her hair done. She ain't going to get a pedicure. She said she ain't going out for nothing. Unless, when I did say unless, it's absolutely necessary. And I don't blame her. Child, mm -mm. And I was just going to go get my nails done, not this weekend, because I found out today, literally today at my job, that my nail tech, Mimi, child, she was stuck in Korea. That's where she's from. She was stuck there for, she left before the COVID, and then she got stuck over there and couldn't come back. And then when now everything was lifted, she still can't come back. And then they said that, well, now nah, she'll be back in about two weeks. So then today I asked him, because he had been there. My, he's the owner of, of the shop, my coworker. He'll carry at my job. And he said, but today, she ain't coming back until much the next year. I said, oh, let me find me somebody else, child. Let me find me somebody else, child. That's what I did. Now, she ain't coming back. Well, not a few. Well, where my daughter goes. The lady who I do business with, she got her nail tech, which I'm probably going to end up going there because she at home. And it's a one-on-one -on -one session at her house. Not in the shop. I'm not going to be by myself and tell her how I want to design. And she just, just focus and concentrate on my nails. And my lady about Cindy, who did my nails before, when I went to Atlanta, but she left too for COVID. Well, before COVID, before COVID, and she got stuck over there too. So now, she's here now in Houston. I think I spoke on this one day on my video one day um, recently, and she said she don't want to come out. So now they tell us, don't have to worry about not want to come out. I said, you ain't going to come out because you're going to stay in. I, not only you, but everybody, your neighbors too. Sir? So, I ain't going to worry about getting my nails done right now. I ain't even worried about it, huh, huh? Mm -mm. I'm glad I didn't go get them done, though. Because I was going to go, like I say, next week sometime. I'm going to call her to make an, to make an appointment. You know, let's see. Let her know who I am. Tell her who referred me. See how she charged. See what she can do. Or whatever. You know, child, that, that phone call going to wait now. Uh, ain't no need me going to get them done and then I can't go get a refill them, they on my nails looking hideous and they they grown long to the tip and I have to try to cut them off and break my, my own nail and they be sore have a split my nail y'all know how I do ladies have a split your nail Child, uh -uh. who got time for that I don't I ain't got time for that ooh wait no this one here is really dry 
Oh, oh, excuse me now. I need my girl Keisha over here. My girl Keisha, I don't know Keisha. Miss Diversity. Miss Diversity. Mm-hmm. I need her over here. Come eat with me. She love uh, Blue Crab. She, her, her sister, Trinice. Y'all know Trinice from TV TV? I love me some of them, too. This dry, y'all. I left it in the oven too long. It's my fault. My bad. My bad. I'm getting better, y'all. It's a slow process. Because I never, I've never eaten lobster. I never had snow crabs, king crab, blue crab. I might have had snow crab. I think I did. When I went to the casino to go, uh, and that, yeah, I'm so cheap. I never like to gamble. I might go and spend, not now, but I mean, I will now, but I haven't. It's been like years since I've gone. But I may have would have gone to play like $50, but my main thing back in the day was go eat and drink. That's it. And just walk around, look, and cheer whoever I was with on. Oh, my husband, my mama, my brother, whoever I was with, my friend, girls, and cheer them on. I, mean, I was too cheap to go play. Big time. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. <laughs> confession, confession. This is my confession. Your girl ain't lying. I sure ain't. Anybody like that? Like, like no, you want to play. You will play. You got the money to play. But, you know, you cautious. You know, you look scary. You know, you don't want to just lose your money like that. You know? You ain't got no big bank. I ain't got no tree outside with money growing on it. I ain't got no big old safe that holding millions. Uh-uh. But, you know, I, I will play. I will spend, you know, like hundreds or whatever. You know, if I just, just like for this, a special occasion, you know, something going on, you know, a special occasion, weekend, not the weekend, but just something extra, not just the weekend. Mm -mm. Something extra going on. My birthday, anniversary, something very special. I will, but other than that, mm-mm. No, ma'am. No, sir. Show one boo. And I ain't ashamed to tell you. Nope. Mm mm. But, ain't nothing wrong with those who do. I, I, as a matter of fact, I enjoy going with people like that. Because I'm so, you know, wishy washy about, mm mm. No, I don't want to spend my money. Mm mm. I spend a little bit, like I say, but not a lot. So, I enjoy watching them. You know, that they enjoy it. I enjoy watching them. I do. And before I had my, my weight loss surgery, y'all, my sleeve in 2014, I used to test the food up. Y'all think my daughter can eat? Child. She got that honestly from her mother and her father. But, of course, I can't eat as much now because I had that surgery, y'all. Mmm. But my little stomach is, is protruding, it's increasing in the inside. And I'm being able to hold a little more now. But as long as it doesn't get like it was. Mm -mm. And trust me, I ain't gonna let it go that far. Mm -mm. Trust your girl, no ma'am, no sir. I'm not. No ma'am, no way, no way, Sam Ham, no. I ain't gonna do that one. Mm -mm. But I used to love to go there for the little drinks. Love to go there for that good old food, child. And my sister-in-law, my husband's sister, Cherie, she loves no crabs. I'm mean, she gonna be in the show one time soon. This year, y'all go with it. She loves no crabs. But since I came to YouTube. I had never really had the special lobster, none of that. None of that. And I hear a lot of people saying that. Even some of the larger YouTubers, I've heard them say they had never had, you know, like all these different seafoods and different, you know, like craw crawfish. Not crawfish, I've had crawfish. Like, like leg, crawfish, no, craw, what's it called? Crab legs, y'all, I'm sorry. Crab legs, they had never had those things. And hence me either. You ain't by yourself. And there's nothing to be ashamed of, child. And 
Of course, I had shrimp and crawfish. Because I'm from Louisiana, of course. I mean, even though they don't mean anything because you're from Louisiana. But I've had those things. The shrimp and the crawfish. But all the rest of that stuff, I ain't never had that before. Dungeon and crab. Mm -mm. Yeah. But yeah, what I have now, child, and I love it. And I'm trying to love, I'm trying to learn how to cook it my way, which I know I got to have that Louisiana crab ball. I must have that in my, when I boil my, uh, any of my crab legs and my lobster tails, I got to have the Louisiana crab ball. I like my spices one thing. And not only that, that crab uh, ball, it has like a certain taste. It is so good to me. But my mama can't, I even put it on my gumbo. When I make gumbo, I put a little bit up in there and everybody like it. You know, but people who like spicy stuff love it. But baby, you know, if you can't have spicy, then you ain't gonna be eating my gumbo. But my stuff be spicy. Now, it don't be so spicy where you can't enjoy it. But it be spicy now. Like this below sauce in here. I have the two times spicy sauce in here. Every time I've ever made it, I've always put the two times spicy in it. Because I need mine to be a little more spicy. Mm -hmm. It don't have to be sweet though. Just needs the spice, the, the the savory part of it. Oh, I don't need. But I wouldn't mind going. Not something about the casino, y'all. I wouldn't mind going there. Did y'all go to the casino? I don't know how to play no table, no blackjack, flapjack, pick, pet, patty egg, give a dog a bone. I don't know none of that. I like to watch it though. I be so intrigued. Like, I just stand around and watch. You know, I like it. You know, get a bit there, be uh, fast and think fast on your feet. You gotta be quick with it. With your thinking, with your uh, addition, your subtraction. Multiplication, vision, what all you need to play those games on that on that bowl, on that table. But I love to watch it. Love it, y'all. You know, I like to have fun and do all those types of things. I haven't done those things in a long time. But shoot, right now we can't do nothing, can we? And even if even now since they've lifted most of the whole country, child, they finna unlift it. They finna shut it on down, look like. Good child. Oh well. It is what it is, child. It is what it is. This is the new normal now. This is the new normal. Wearing face masks. Being six feet or more apart. Now, if your church was closed and if it, it was beginning to be reopened and have worship service in your church, child. Hmm. Back to uh, worshiping visually, um, what's it called? Not visually, well, but it's visually, but it's also, what is it? Virtually. Virtually we, we come, here we come. Virtual worship, which is fine. As long as you're worshiping, that's fine. But we do want to fellowship together, you know, with each other, but try. And then I heard somebody say, I'm gonna lose some out. The protest, the protest that were going on with my boy, for my boy George Floyd and my sister Pooh, Brianna Taylor, and my other little brother, um, Ar Ar Arbery, Ahmad, yeah, Ahmad Arbery, and so many others that we were that they, they were marching for. I didn't get the chance to go out, y'all, but I'm I've never did stop working, y'all. Never did, and still still working, and it's actually been working a lot of hours too, which is why I had to set my time to upload to three o'clock. 3 p.m. Now, I started off at 8, 8 a.m. Then I said, well, let me try 12. You need to give me more time to be able to do my, my other stuff. You know, just a lot of stuff I can do. It won't be so much pressure on me. Maybe I will have time. Maybe I'll be more enthused to answer my comments, like, quickly. Because I haven't been getting off. So I said, I'll go 12. Child, here they come. Which I'm grateful, Lord. Lord, I'm grateful. And God in heaven knows I am, Lisha Ellis. About the hours that he allowed me to have. You know, the extra money that's coming to my household so i say oh boy here they come now talking about some stay over time which i'm grateful y'all 
But I was saying, dang, you know, and here I am saying, okay, let me, I can, I can kind of relax a little bit since I don't have to have the video up for, up for eight. So if I record late in the evening, if I do it, somebody bring out like Epic Empire or somebody bring out a challenge I want to participate in, well, I can do that challenge that day and put that up the next day. And I said, well, I don't have to rush, you know, try to edit it, herpy edit it and put it up in the morning for, for 12. I can just, or for 8 or 12, I can just do it the next day and have it ready. Because I normally get off at 10, 8, 10, 30 a.m. Child. By the grace of God, thank God I say, they're giving us overtime, which is fine. But now, I was like, I get off at 12, 30. I said, OMG. So, I, you know, it happened too many times. I kept saying, mm -mm, you know what, just let me go to, to 3. I really didn't want to go that late. It's not really late, you know. But I got to do what I got to do, you know, because I, I tried 8, I tried 12, and... It ain't gonna work so three o'clock is what it gonna be or even maybe two you know i don't know but it's gonna be around that area i don't want to go past three if I, if I can help it you know but uh yeah child so i, I you know y'all i'm just rambling along and rambling along but yeah the city is closing back down according to what the amber alert said today and my son sent me a, a picture of it because we were going to get our grandkids this weekend today is friday like i told y'all july the 20th no july june the 27th and so we're going to get my grandkids tomorrow, which is Saturday. But now, we ain't going to be able to do that because they just said that, you know. We don't want them really coming out if it's supposed to be, if, if this this thing is really high, 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 as they say. You know, you know who knows if they lying or if they ain't, you know what I'm saying? But my thing is, I just want to take wisdom, you know, be, wis be wise about it and just uh, take precautions. You know, I love my family. I love myself, you know. I love my friend. I love you guys. So I love my coworkers, my neighbors and stuff. So love my enemies, even though I don't think I have any, but I don't have any enemies. But yeah, I love everybody. So I want everybody to be cautious and be safe and make the right decisions and have wisdom and think before they uh, speak or react, you know, uh, respond, you know, in a, in a good way, you know, make the wise decisions and, you know, stuff like that. Because somebody's having a party, get together and, it may be a special occasion. True that. It may be something very special, you know. But you got to be wise and think about your family, child. Think about your own self, honey, honey, boo, boo, child. Shoot, you got to. Because like I was saying, you know, like I got a co-worker now. But she's doing better now. But you know why she's doing better? You know why she's wearing a mask now? Because my job uh, made them, required it. Because we had somebody at our job that had that thing, you know. But uh, our job so big, so that person wasn't around me like talking about. It's just so pretty, but you know, it ain't gonna do with nothing, you know. But uh, so yeah, but she's okay. She, I don't think she even had any symptoms or whatever. I don't think. But so they, after that, we find that out. Then they made everybody start wearing a mask. This is before, before the whole state of Texas, the governor, judge, or somebody say, you know, y'all gonna start wearing y'all, y'all got to wear y'all mask inside of every establishment, every building, every business. In the inside, you got to wear your mask. Now, this is prior to that coming. That, that came afterwards. So, when we found out somebody had it, I was tested positive for it, then then that person was wearing a mask. I think she wore it, wore it once or twice. I said to myself. But my thing was, even before we knew anybody that had it or whatever, when it first came out and it was all, you know, wrapping all around all across the whole world, and here you got a young girl, a young daughter, why wouldn't you, and this is a female, somebody who I would think would kind of know better. You know, I'm not saying that the men don't know, but you know what I'm saying? Mothers and females are more nurturing, like mothery, motherly, you know? And then this this person is a mother. So my thing is, why wouldn't you wear your mask, sis? You know, you're a very beautiful young lady, you're bright, you're very smart. So I said to myself, I was just so surprised that, you no, know, she just would refuse to wear it. I mean, at, at this point, we could find them. Everybody had them at this point. You know, I know at first, you know, we couldn't find them. They were like, we're looking for gold. You couldn't find no mask nowhere, child. You know, Amazon wasn't shipping them out. It took a whole three, four, five months before you got one. But it's like, live after that. You know, I say, sister food still will wear a mask, child. And I was like, oh, boy, you got to, babe, you don't know what these people around us, you don't know what these people that we work around have. You don't know who they've been around, what they got. So, that didn't seem to hurt people no ears. Like, I just couldn't, couldn't fathom. I couldn't understand it because she's not she very she's bright she's not dumb she's not you know like slow or, and I, I was trying to understand why you went but i don't know whatever and they for me to figure out child but now since we found somebody had it then the the big dog the the, the man with the with the all all the, the power of the post office came and told us we got to wear our masks and so then i saw sister food wear about one or two times okay 
Child, that didn't last long. I said, Lord, child, I didn't give up, child. I, 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 I look forward to her not winning. As a matter of fact, God forbid, I pray she don't get that thing. I, but if, if God forbid, if she was ever, somebody said, oh, this is such, 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 got this, I wouldn't even blink. I wouldn't even blink. I wouldn't even be surprised. And I wouldn't wish, wish I don't wish anything upon anybody. But I wouldn't be surprised. Because I was saying, sis, I mean, you got a whole little, little girl, a whole child. You know, it might be a girl, a boy, she got a whole child, and her daughter is like five. So, whatever, child. Mm -hmm. But, um, uh, but now, since this whole, and then be, now the state of Texas, after that, the state of Texas, uh, they made an announcement in my job, say that everybody must, everybody in the building was, must wear a mask. Because at first they gave you a choice. And I felt like, you know, well, you, you young and you got a baby, you, you why wouldn't you wear it? But she didn't. Or whatever. So then they said, uh, and then they gave us an option to wear it when we found somebody had it. And well, they told us to wear it, but they didn't make us. But and she still did. I think she wore it once or twice. And that's it. But then they made an announcement the other day, or the other week or so, and say, well, everybody in the building got to wear it. You must wear a mask unless you got some type of condition where you can't. Uh, because and she said what? And then let the supervisor say it ain't my rule. It's the state of Texas that said it. Then and only then <laughs> has she been wearing a mask every day. And I said, wow. It took, I said, boy, God knows just what to do. God knows just what to do. Y'all can see right on time. Now, a lot of times God might be slow in doing stuff and, and, and reacting. And, and, or it look like it in our eyes. But child, he be right on time every, every time. He be right on time. Child, I'm so grateful for whatever the reason was that the state of Texas or whoever said it, the judge, governor, whoever, whatever, said to wear your mask. I'm so glad that the, the, the memo came to my girl. Because I you know she's so sweet. I just liked her, but I kept saying, I didn't understand that part. But I never would go tell her. Mm -mm, no, no, no. I said my own lane, child. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. I've learned over the years. Mm -mm. I don't care if they're young, my age, I don't care. Nope, nope. I've learned to hush it. Hush it up. Nope. And I'm back, y'all. Y'all, sorry about that. That was my alarm. Child, I forgot I had an alarm on my phone to remind me to do something. So anyway, yeah, that's what that was, child. I forgot you put that on there. And I don't have, I hardly ever have an alarm this time of the night. Even though it's not late, late, but I don't have an alarm this time of the evening, child. But anyway, yeah, y'all. So I was just saying that I just thank God for whatever made the state of texas say everybody in texas got to wear a mask when they are inside of a excuse me a building or inside of an ex an establishment a business so that was fine so she been doing good and i thank god for that but then here, here they come uh with the uh the amber alert the text messages and i guess it's applied to everybody now i don't know if it's just for texas or what that uh they saying they oh y'all might be texas y'all because they were saying don't go out yeah here in texas don't go out houston don't go out your house unless it's absolutely necessary you know the same thing they did you know when it first got started some of the police will pull you over if you all pass a certain time you get to have and, and y'all when this thing first started this COVID 19 my job they gave us like a, a letter they gave everybody uh in the building a letter um saying that we're going to you know we are, uh, what to say, a government employee or whatever. And so they gave it to everybody. So I had that on deck, baby. I had that on deck, child. Child, I was so worried and so nervous about, oh boy, because I work early in the morning, y'all. Early in the morning, okay? Would it be like two or three, four calls on the highway, if that? And so I said, oh boy. So now I was, I ain't gonna lie, I was prayerful, paranoid, a little worried. I ain't gonna lie. I was asking God, I said, Lord, please don't let them pull me over, you know. Thank God I got everything stick up, up to date, insurance up to date, seat belt, everything, light work and everything, child. Just thank God. You know, but still, you can have all that stuff, you know, and they can still pull you over like they did Sandra Bland and do what they want, do whatever. But my thing is, you know, I got God's protection. Whatever God allowed happen to me, whether it's good or bad, whether I like it or not, if he allows for, it's for, my, it's for, my, it's for my good some type of way, it might not be good. It might not, you know, it, uh, and we, some might go down, but you know, at the end of the day, some type of way, it's for my good that the words say so. Mm -hmm. But anyway, y'all, I wasn't even supposed to be talking about none of that. I, girl, child, how I get on all that subject? We was, I went from the casino to my... Michelle, pray for me here. Pray for your girl here. Yeah. 
pray for your girl. The baby be so much stuff up in here. I just like to talk and run, run my mama child. Mm -mm. And I, yeah, I know y'all say, girl, you talking about something one time in that video that you don't like talking. Sometimes I don't. Yep. Sometimes I do not. And that is the God on the truth. A lot of times I, I like to be quiet. And then when I am quiet, people say, what's wrong with you? Nothing, 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 honey. I don't want to be quiet, child. My stomach is hurting for all that talking. Mm -mm. So sometimes I do like to be quiet. But, well, you know, I'm in a good mood. I'm happy. I'm excited. You know, I just want to chit-chat. And I love talking to y'all. Yes, I do. I love, I love you. Yes, I do. Hey, ladybug. Living this by V. Lenoa. I love her little song, y'all. So anyway, we got more stuff coming, y'all. We got more games we can be playing. Um... More seafood coming. I'm trying to, you know, eat a little more. It's a little bit, but, and I'm not trying to overdo it while, I, you know, but I'm trying to eat a little more, a little, little more, you know. So everything is going the way it's supposed to go, child. It's on God's timing. And I just thank y'all for talking to me and be with me, y'all. So this will conclude another episode of the I Love Lisa Michelle Show. Yes, and like I said, this uh, video, this video may not come out till sometime in July. I don't know what week. But, you know, it's going to come out later, really later, later, at the end of July, August, or somewhere, child. And, uh, y'all, I told y'all in another video uh, yesterday, so thank y'all for watching the video of yesterday. I'm sorry. But I said in the other video yesterday, which y'all won't see, so I might not say, I said in the other video, let me say it like that, about my eyebrows, um, I got a, uh, what's it called, y'all? Microbladed, child. And they are still sore. I got them done Wednesday. Today is Friday. And I got them done two days ago. And so they're going to be shedding, y'all. And um, that's how it goes. So right now, they're super, super dark like I like. But after some weeks or a week or maybe even some more days, child, it's going to be lighting up. It's going to look hectic. It's going to look hectic like my boy uh, Dalvin say of uh, uh, Zach Chunk Chunk. It's going to be hectic for you, girl. But y'all know. I didn't told y'all. But So by time... The next video come out after this one. When y'all see this one in July sometime or August, then they'll be straight. They'll be straight. They will. They will. They will. They'll be looking good. I pray that they do anyway. So anyway, y'all don't forget to like, comment, and share. Share on every social media platform and subscribe so that you, you, and you, and you, and you, and you can become an official Lishayan and ding dong ding. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can be reminded of every, every time your girl uploads a video. Okay? And be quick with it. La 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 all right, y'all. See y'all later. And I love you. Mwah. Peace. Y'all, when I do this, in case y'all didn't know, that's Kara Burnett. I love those ladies. Kara Burnett and Lucy. Lucy a ball. All right. Bye, y'all.